This project aims at finding the best path between any two points on a map, which is done by using the traffic data collected by a network of nodes distributed over the map. Each of these nodes is referred to as traffic measurement unit. The route is determined with the aid of a system installed in each vehicle, which we call the route planner. The system is as shown. The hardware design of both the traffic measurement unit and the route planner unit is the same. Each unit consists of a CC2520 RF transceiver and an MSP430 microcontroller, both from Texas Instruments. <coughs> the communication between the RF transceiver and the MSP430 microcontroller takes place through serial port interface. This is the map we are using to demonstrate the working of the system. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have shown the start and end nodes. The segmented areas you see aid in faster processing. Firstly, we demonstrate that the algorithm works in absence of traffic data by proving its ability to determine the spatially shortest path. The LEDs indicate the coordinates of the next node. The first three bits of the number representing the coordinates indicate the area in which the node lies and the remaining bits indicate the relative position of the node with respect to the top left most node in that particular area. Since in our design we are using only 4 LEDs, we are constrained to display each nibble in successive intervals. Mm -hmm. Now we demonstrate this system's functioning in the presence of PMUs. Here is the root planner module and here is the traffic measurement unit module and the one is placed there. Each PMU communicates wirelessly through RF with the root planner module. The following segment is thus an exhibition of the factors that differentiate this project from other similar navigational utilities. Here we enable the system to recognize any change in traffic conditions by making it to engage in conversation with the nearby PMUs. Simultaneously, each neighboring PMU is updated with speed and direction of travel of this particular route planner. If the LED state is on, it implies communication is in progress. Here we shall simulate some traffic scenarios to demonstrate how our system performs. The TMUs are programmed such that the road passing through nodes 18H, 13H and so on is clogged with zero movement. When run, the RP outputs the next transitionary node involving movement between areas. As can be seen, it outputs the node which precludes traveling clogged road. Here the LEDs, here the LEDs indicate uh, zero E in the sense three LEDs are on and one is off. So the next node address is zero E. All roads surrounding the start node are clogged. The route planner must ideally output the spatially shortest route since it probably is the route with lowest cost. The RP output is shown. Uh, this indicates one and this indicates 8, which means the next node is 18H. Conclusion Though results seem spectacular, it must be recognized that they are all because of conditions that are simulated. We make no predictions about the results when implemented in its entirety, but we expect and hope for no glitch.